This is one of the hardest offenses to stop in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! It has explosive run plays. Run. Unstoppable glitch routes. And won't play touchdowns that can score versus any defense in the game. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. So if you want to see what brand new offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The offense and defense that I'll be using in today's video can be found in my Pittsburgh Steelers and my Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebooks. I just started using the Steelers playbook so that I can lab more offenses for you guys for Madden 24, and I plan on doing some offenses out of the Kansas City Chiefs and probably Detroit Lions as well. But if there's an offense or defense you guys would like to see me use next, please let me know in the comment section and I might use that in a future video. Before I get into the video though, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to Woo! see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. I'm going to be using the Vikings today as they're one of my most requested teams in the comment section from the previous weeks, and I gotta be honest, I'm not excited about using Kirk Cousins or this horrible secondary as I usually choose teams based on their quarterback, receivers, and cornerbacks. The Raiders, Bengals, and Niners are all next on my list, but if you guys want to see me use your favorite team next, please make sure to vote for them in the comment section. For my depth chart, the only real change that I made was to put Jalen Rager at receiver too because of his 93 speed, but as an Eagles fan, I wanted to cut him from the roster entirely. Has one go through his hands once, that's two. And I also put rookie safety Lewis Seen in the free safety spot because of his speed. I started this game out on offense, and the formation that I am featuring today should look a little familiar as the single back wing stack is also in my Saints ebook that I use most of this year. And I've made several videos about this offense over the years, dating back as far as Madden 20. The Steelers playbook, however, has much better passing plays, while the Saints has much better run plays due to the fact that this playbook doesn't have a stretch run like the Saints offense does. My audible plays are the PA Steelers shot, which is a one-play touchdown versus man coverages and cover two zone. The PA power, which is a one-play touchdown against cover zero. The fade out, which is a one-play touchdown versus cover three. And the PA fork, which is a one-play touchdown against just about everything else. Everything, everything. I have a lot of options for my fifth play as this formation has about seven plays that I like to use, but I usually pick the halfback zone weak so that I have an option to run the ball. On the first play, I do run the ball just to get to the sideline and see what defense he is running, and sure enough, I see he's in cover three zone. It looks like he's in cover one man, however, so in the next play, I call the steal a shot, and even though he is in a cover three, my receiver gets past the cornerback anyways. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> and we get a huge play to flip the field. From here, I take the drag on the next play to get inside the red zone before calling the smash drive, as this play beats any zone coverage as long as you run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field and put the X route on a streak to pull back the coverage. On defense, the weakness of this team is definitely the secondary, and I'm going to have a hard time keeping up with my Eagles receivers all game, so my game plan is to try to get pressure with the speed of the outside linebackers, but the only really fast defender they have is Daniel Hunter, so it's not really working. I get him into a 4th and 8, however, which he obviously decides to go for, and the dude legit tries to beat me with my own Saints fork play setup. How dare you! Back on offense, we run the ball again to start the drive, only to get nothing before getting sacked on the next play to get pushed back to a 3rd and forever situation, but he is still running cover 3 zone, so I call the fade out play, and I'm going to use the exact same concept from this play that I used from my Saints playbook earlier this year. And even though I'm not quite on a hash mark, all I have to do is put the out receiver on a comeback to pull the outside cornerback down. The only difference is I have to motion him out first to get that option in my hot routes menu before I motion him back, which can be a bit of a tell. But since no one knows this offense yet, it's not a problem. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. Now down two scores, my opponent comes out firing, and it doesn't seem like any of my coverage guys can stop the Eagles receivers at all, as Dallas Goddard routinely burns Eric Hendricks to get wide open as he goes right down the field on me before Quez Watkins gets a stupid animation Lame. through contact and tight coverage that just guarantees him the score. 
Back on offense, I try to run the jet sweep to get to the sideline once again, but I take a loss. He is in cover four, so on the next play, I go back to the smash drive play that I used to score earlier to get the first down. I try to set up a one play touchdown against cover four on the next play, and he gets instant pressure through the A gap. I try to throw it away, but Kirk Cousins is not athletic enough to get outside of the pocket, and I get a grounding penalty anyway. On the next play, I go back to the smash drive play once again and almost get everything back before running for a first down on the next play. And now he is watching the receiver side like a Hawks. So I hit the tight end on the drag to try to draw his attention away before going back to the smash drive play, which is also one play touchdown against cover three. If you run him from a hash mark to the open side of the field, motion the tight end out and put everyone on streaks or fades except for the corner route. The X receiver does beat the coverage and I get a good accuracy pop up. Wilson. But Cousins still throws an absolute duck that is closer to the corner route receiver than the streak. And instead of getting a touchdown, I throw an interception into a crowd to give him the ball back with 27 seconds left before half, which he doesn't need as he scores on the next play to tie the game. He gets the ball after half also, and we get him into a quick third and ten before he bombs it up against my best secondary player, Harrison Smith, who is way too slow to keep up with Quez Watkins. Back on offense, I see that he is still watching for that corner route on the smash drive play, so I hit the tight end over the middle to keep him honest. I'm still having this offense, so it's kind of new to me, so on the next play, I get a little too creative and think that maybe the Steeler drive will work the exact same way, only to the tight end side. Turns out it does not. Yeah. Doesn't matter though, as we get the ball back on the next play. Gotcha, bitch. As old man Pat P comes up with the interception. You kids get off my lawn. I need to show him something different, so on the next play, I switch to the shot fade cross out of the gun tight doubles, as this is one of the glitchiest plays in the game against almost every defense. I just put this play out in my most recent glitch routes video, so if you guys want to see more plays like this out of this playbook, I will once again have a link in the description as well as an on screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that. All you have to do is run this from a hash mark to the short side of the field and put the wide receiver on a streak, and the B route beats almost everything. Everything, everything. On defense, we started to get some pressure and get more, our opponent into a quick third and long before he beats me with that same route that he scored on earlier, this time with a different man in coverage to get all the way down to the one yard line before punching it in with a fullback dive on the very next play. Damn it! Back on offense, I decided to run the ball more, but I'm always aware to try to end the play on a hash mark for the one play touchdowns. So since he is still running mostly cover three, I go back to the fade out play one more time. I make my motion hoping he doesn't notice. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. Fuck you! On defense, my opponent is running the ball to try to kill clock, so I go back to blitzing heavy so that I can get the ball back one way or another, either by force or by giving him a quicker score. And Quez Watkins is still killing me, as I wish the real-life Quez Watkins was anything like the Madden Quez. He runs it again to get back inside the one yard line and I recently made a video about special teams glitches like the best defense on how to stop the QB sneak as I call the 60 out jacks and make my adjustments to stuff it on back to back plays. How about new? If you guys want to see more about this I will have a link in the description and at the end of the video so stick around for that. He comes out to run the next play but I am still in the same defense and this time we get a sack. He decides to go for the touchdown on fourth and goals. He probably thinks he won't be able to stop me from scoring as the Vikings' horrible coverage corner strikes again. Oh my wow. God, you wow. are fucking wow. suck! But I get the last laugh as it turns out he can stop me from scoring. You suck! Understatement. As I probably overused that concept a little bit too much and he finally used it. So no miraculous comeback this time guys as I was not a big fan of the Vikings and their atrocious secondary. But let me know in the comment section what team you guys would like to see me use next. Also give this offense a try and let me know what you guys think as I will probably be doing more videos about it in the future. Other than that that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more from the offenses and defenses that I was using in today's video I will have links of them popping up on screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.